rationalize the denominator. Here I notice the denominator is a binomial. When this is the case, we multiply numerator and denominator by the conjugate of that denominator. In this case, we'll multiply by 2 square root of 5 plus 3. Now we'll multiply the numerator by the exact same thing. In this case, we're left with 3 square root of 5 times 2 square root of 5, or 6 square root of 25, plus 9 square root of 5 plus 10 square root of 5, and then plus 15. Now in the denominator we have 2 square root of 5 times 2 square root of 5, which is 4 square root of 25, plus 6 square root of 5, and then minus 6 square root of 5, and finally minus 9. Notice here in the denominator we have positive 6 square root of 5 and negative 6 square root of 5. Well, those add to 0. Simplifying further, in the numerator I have 6 times the square root of 25, or 6 times 5, plus 9 square root of 5 plus 10 square root of 5 adds up to plus 19 square root of 5 plus 15. Now in the denominator, I have 4 times the square root of 25, or 4 times 5, and then minus 9. Notice in the denominator, we no longer have radicals. 6 times 5 is 30, and we're left with 30 plus 19 square root of 5 plus 15 in the numerator. In the denominator here, we have 20 minus 9. Continuing, 30 plus 15 leaves us with 45 plus 19 square root of 5 over 20 minus 9 is 11.